The reason why I film the coral spawning every year is that it's an amazing event that only happens once a year, but it's also a really good indicator that the Great Barrier Reef is alive. Okay, the function, functionality of the ecosystem is up and running, you know, the pipe works running. If the, if the reef was dead, we would not be seeing any coral spawning. And since the big bleaching event from two years ago, we've seen a tremendous amount of regrowth on the reef here at Moore Reef and other reefs around Cairns. That's a good sign that the reef is recovering. So by no means is the reef off the hook. You know, we've really got to, we've really got to look after the barrier reef. It is, it is threatened at the moment with these coral bleachings because of climate change and we really need to look after it. So we really need to think about what we're doing at home uh, with our plastics, with our consumption, uh, using fuel, looking at um, other forms of alternate energy as well. There's some magnificent uh, projects here just in Cairns up at Emerald uh, Mount, uh, Mount Emerald uh, Wind Farm up here and solar farms which is going ahead trying to get us away from using uh, oil. Everyone should from all around the world come to the reef and see how beautiful it is but certainly no one's lucky enough to see the coral spawning itself so as a filmmaker I need to capture this I'm pressured to capture this and show it to the world a National Geographic's discoveries uh, or always after my footage to be able to, to show the world and to show everyone how, how alive the reef is. It's like joining the dots. Basically we get someone in the water about in about the next 15 minutes we'll pop someone in the water by snorkeling and they'll be looking for the spawn floating on the surface. It's like tiny little mauve and orange eggs uh, on the surface and they'll also see them trickling up from below. So it's basically a matter of joining the dots. So you go down, follow the eggs uh, down towards the colonies and find it's a real hit and miss thing sometimes. It's a good challenge finding the colonies that are going off. Dives we're in the water. One of the reasons why we, one of the reasons why we come to Sun Lover Cruises um, over the last 20 years is that it's a lot better chance of, of getting the coral spawning here. We can be in the water from 5:30 to 12:30, so we can spend six hours if we're that keen to jump in the water. Generally though, four or five hours we manage to see the coral spawning during that time. Yes, definitely. It's always a continuing uh, learning curve, whether it's from cameras under the water or people that you're diving with, right through to the coral itself. And it's full of lots of surprises as well. Some years you get all the uh, staghorns going off all together and that's like, that's the grand finale that you hope to capture every year. Other years you see oral brooding as well, looking very closely and that's what we're going to be looking for in the next couple of hours. We're going to be watching the corals prepare to release their eggs and sperm. So that's really nice when you get to capture that as well. One other thing I really hunt for out there is uh, a particular species of coral, uh, is a parietes. Everyone sees the big smokers, which are the males, we think, letting off the, the, all, their, all the sperm. But the female species, what we think of the female species, are little eggs. And I seem to, I seem to think there's a lot less female, this is my theory anyway, <laughs> is that there's a lot less female species than males out there because I've only filmed one female species in 22 years. So I think that's a fair assumption, but I could be wrong. There's a lot of people out here on the Great Barrier Reef tonight hoping to not only capture the, uh, the, the coral uh, spawning, but also capture the actual eggs and sperm themselves. Just over behind here, we have uh, Peter Harrison from uh, Southern uh, Cross uh, University, who's out here with big nets and he hopes to capture the, the millions of eggs and sperm from the, uh, from the corals and then, and then get the planular larvae and grow the planular larvae out and then resettle these, uh, these, these larvae on other parts of, uh, of the reef around here. We also have a filmmaker, Richard Fitzpatrick, filming out there as well. Richard and myself have probably filmed more coral spawning than anyone else in Cairns over the last 20 years. Honeycomb corals are very spectacular as well. They have very large eggs as well and that goes off like popcorn. So you get the big, uh, the big um, honeycomb coral like that and all of a sudden they'll just go We're hoping to see the staghorn, the acopras uh, spawning tonight. Probably the usual suspects are the parietes, of, uh, the males, the sperm being released. Lots of soft coral, beautiful soft coral off here at Sun Lover as well. So we hope to see the speedy, spaghetti coral. We also hope to see lots of soft coral out here at Sun Lover Cruises spawning as well. Spaghetti coral, uh, ele elephant ear coral. So we hope to see that as well. Uh, maybe an enemy or two. But we also get sea cucumbers. Sometimes we get clams spawning. So there are a lot of other animals apart from corals that will spawn tonight.